It's a pretty piece of spongeware here. Look at that pink. Look what that bit is. Was it an apple? So cute. The sun is beautiful today. However, it's very difficult to see because it cr creates so much contrast. But my first find is a broken bottle stop. As you can see, a bit disappointing, but something porcelain looking down here. And yes, it's like, oh, a duck. Oh, no, it's probably a swan. Who am I kidding? Oh, it's the mold number on the bottom. And of course, it's got no head. Should I take it anyway? Because you know that we do often find swans at the tip. I might take it. Maybe I can put like a doll's head on there. A human one. Make a creepy, I don't know, Frankenstein figurine. Hello. Ah! So here we are back at the massive rubbish yeah. tip, Victorian rubbish tip here in Scotland. And we're hoping to find some treasures. We are, and it, we're in the woods at the minute. Um, and it was sunny a second ago; it's just gone in. Mm. So, um, yeah, wish us luck, and uh, let's, let's do, do it. it. There's another bit of the same part. It's broken in the same place, that's weird. What's this? No. So it was down here somewhere that I found my incredible beautiful gold dentures last time. And they did actually turn out to be solid gold. And um, the chance of finding some more here it's um, pretty slim, but you never know. And of course, it's the bottle diggers that usually find things of value. We are just the scavengers that um, pick off the things left behind by them, by the people who dig. But now and again, we are lucky enough to find something that is valuable and is really special, like those dentures, um, which are not only valuable because they're gold, but um, they're actually really collectible. Um, but of course, they won't be leaving our collection. We, I absolutely love them. We both love them. So, yeah, it was a really good find. Oh, and if you haven't seen that video, um, we'll leave a link um, in the comments and in the description because it was really exciting if you haven't seen it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, there's been a lot of rain since then, so I'm going to continue looking on the area that was last dug last time and see if anything new has been washed out. More spongeware. Scottish spongeware. Well, we are in Scotland. Swing top here. Hmm. What's that on there? Is it a lighthouse? Burton on Trent. That's way down in England. Hmm. That's strange. Look down here. It's a knuckle bone. It's a beautiful blue and white one. Look at that. That's lovely. We must have quite a collection now. That's a game like Jack's. It was very popular back in late 19th, early 20th centuries. The worms feel our presence. Minuscule button. I love finding buttons. Oh, and there's a pipe bowl there as well. Let's see if there's anything on it. Ah, it's just plain. Yeah, plain old pipe bowl. With kind of like decoration on the seam. Oh, look. Is that a teapot lid? It is. Is it whole? Oh, it's got a little chip in it there. But I might take it because we're doing some projects at the moment for a Christmas fair, which involve 
lids. Hmm. I'll take it. Is that something? Oh, it is. I had a feeling that was going to be something. It is. Look, it's a little dish. It's a little doll's dish. It's got a um, a little tiny chip out of it there. Look, oh. But the majority's still there, so I'm definitely going to take it. I love finding little doll's plates because we can keep little things on them, like we keep beads or teeth or things on them. Love it. Some common bottles here. And that is a um, Bovril, I think. Either a Bovril or Oxo, which are pretty much well, the same thing. Like meat juice. And they still sell it today. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else in the world, but you still get Bovril and Oxo. Yeah, that's a Bovril, two ounce. But it's a common bottle, like I said, so we're someone not going to take it. Or common bottle or bomb and cuddle. That's it. That's a spoonerism is. Not as good as crusty button. No wait. Not as good as busty crutton. I've seen something down here. It's just the ed end of it. Oh. I thought that was a weird shape. It's a glass bottle stop. Like a chemical jar, medicine jar, whatever. But it's broken. Oh well. A bottle here, let's see if it's of any interest. Oh, it's a funky little shape, isn't it? Oh, it's got a big crack in it though, look. Oh. It's got F S C on the bottom. Hmm, might have been worth taking if it wasn't broken, but it is, sadly, so. It's a doll's cheek. <laughs> I don't think there's enough of it to, whoops, to warrant keeping it. Pipe bowl peeping out here. It's had something on it. Some sort of crest, but it's absolutely knackered. Oh no, <laughs> I can see the remains of a face on there. What a shame. Oh well. And a piece of spongeware. I can see another pipe bowl. Look at this. It's a football pipe. Look, it's got the football boot there kicking the ball. And these are so often missing because they snap off quite easily. But no, and it's in really nice condition. Look at that. Fantastic. What's this? Oh, it's a nose. <laughs> it's, there's the nostrils, look. It's just a nose. <laughs> we usually find ears, but not just noses. That tiny hook. Still intact. I'm going to take that because, again, that'll be really useful. See that little bottle there? Oh, I think it is a swamp root. Is it? Look, it's got embossing on it. Is it? Swamp root kidney cure or something. Oh, wonderful. We've got one of these, but it's broken. So if this one is whole, that would be amazing. Yeah, look. Sample bottle. Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Cure, London, EC. And I think it's actually an American company. Pretty sure. Oh, I can't remember. 
was it something to do with like a Native American recipe or something? I'm um, like a medicine. I can't remember. Oh, but that bottle is not broken. Not that I can see it though. It's, it's, it's quite muddy to be fair. Well, I'm gonna take that. That's really cool. No. Could this be it guys? Could this be the first complete teapot after all those dozens of teapot lids you found? Does it have the hand? No. Oh, no, handle. no. You know what? I have actually seen loads of handles, like mini handles. Oh no. On tips that I've left behind. I always thought <sighs> I should take it, but it's got we the can spout. Make a handle. We can make a handle. Well we can, we can, can't we? Oh, one day we will find a whole one. Oh, so close yet so far. Oh. Oh. There's a nice old, I think it's a pickle jar. I like that, but you know, we've got to stop picking up these big bottles. Down here is another caster of furniture. Unfortunately, it's chipped. But I've been keeping these to make a giant bead string, which I will show you eventually. This looks a bit suspicious because it's made of porcelain. Oh, what is it? A lid? Oh. Oh no, it's a face. It's a face in a bonnet, look. Wait. It's, <laughs> look, hello little face. That's funny, it looked like a lid or something. So I'm in a hole, as you can see, um, and I, I jumped down here because I found two ink bottles that, that have been thrown down. Oh, look, we've got a cotton reel and a uh, ridged pen rest. That's what they're called. I don't know, should we keep them or yeah. no? Yeah, I yeah? Keep them, yeah. Uh, this, this one has a little bit of a chip out of it. That one's good condition. Okay, let's keep them. Teapot. Oh, look, it's got a little tiny. Oh, you see that? It's got a little bird on it sitting on a branch or some grass or something. And on the other side, that is the cutest little doll's jug I think we've ever found. That is just amazing. I love it. I'll have to show mum that. I think she'll love it too. Round looking brassy thing down there. What's that? Is it a coin? I think it's a button. <laughs> I think it's just a plain button. It's a busty cretin. It's a busty cretin guys. Might have something on it though, however. Yeah, might have some sort of pattern or something. I'll take it. 
Is this anything? Oh, it's a little ladle. A little ladle. That's cute. Look at this, I found a pumpkin. Oh, what a shame. Like, Halloween was just a few days ago. And uh, that would have been great, but it would have been better if it was whole. Oh well, oh how cute, it must have been. But down here I found one of our favourite things. It's not easy to see actually, the way it is. I don't know if you can spot it. Okay, here it is, here. You know what it is yet? It's a domino. <laughs> Look at that. It's, I think that's, I think that's a whole, I think that's a three. I thought it was a five, but that's like a hole that's not meant to be there. Three and a four. With the remains of the wood on the back. It's made of bone. How cool. But still yet to find a dice. The elusive die. We cannot find one, and when we do, we will be so psyched. Um, but yeah, we haven't found one in all the years that we've been making these videos, so... That will be a day to remember. Oh. So, so never know. yeah, one found a nose before. And look, I found a nose too. Another nose. Another nose. That's funny. And it's literally, the whole doll is gone, it's missing, just the nose. So we found two knuckle bones. Two knuckle bones. Two jugs and two noses. Yeah, oh is it a day of pears? Oh. A day of pears, oh. What does that mean then? What else have we found? Another one, look. It's another knuckle bone. A brown one this time, the amber coloured one. Lovely, I love them. Oh, I was hoping this was still here. This that I found last time and then I asked people what it said. And I know what it says now, it says morning and evening exercises, which is a euphemism for having a number two. <laughs> And of course, look, it's in the shape, or it would have been in the shape of a, like um, a potty, a bedpan. It's, yeah, it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a gag. It's a euphemism. So, yeah, I had no idea. Morning and evening exercises. Pipes. I think this is the pipe that I left here last time. And there's one hidden here. Ooh. Plain. Mum found the, a part of a horseshoe pipe. And we've not, not horseshoe pipe, a horse hoof pipe. And we've never found one before. So, yeah, I think that's going to be on the bucket list. finish having a nice little snack and I came up here and I saw this bit of porcelain which first drew my eye because look it was a little shoe and I saw this little disc and it's a bag seal but it's covered in writing which is interesting station something station I don't want to rub it. Oh, and on the other side, look. 
Okay, that's interesting. Very much worth further investigation, that, I think. What's this? Oh, what is it? It's a lid. It's a screw top glass lid. I wonder if it's off some sort of baby feeder. I've not found anything quite like that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think it's off a feeder. Maybe a, a tube went on this end and this end went into a bottle. Or some such thing. Cool. And a big thank you to everyone who has liked this video, subscribed to our channel and left a comment down below. Of course, we do read all of the comments. We just don't have the time to reply to all of them. And an extra special thank you to our patrons on Patreon, of course, who help to keep us going every month. And to all the people who are buying us things on our Amazon wish list. A huge thank you. It's a nice bottle stop. Oh, oh it's broken, but... Never mind. I, I look for the broken ones because I like these bits. We've made necklaces out of just these bits. You put like a bezel on the top and it's a little pendant. So take that. We found this bit, this shirt, and it's like shiny. It's like gold on it and it's a little cottage it's like a little fairy tale cottage with a pink roof and look you can see the gilding look at it. it's a little like dormer window and it's so cute what a shame it's broken but i think i'm going to keep that anyway we can make something out of it or someone else can make something out of it definitely oh and there's a little vial there keep that for um I don't know because I like it <laughs> little button here don't know if I'll be able to read it oh my goodness look at this look at the tiny little swing stopper I've never seen one that small look at it it's tinsy Still got the rubber seal on it. So this is it next to a normal one, look. See how small it is? Yeah, not found one that small before. Look at this tile. It's really narrow. Little tile. It's really cute. It's really nice. Something about it I like broken on that end but yeah I might keep that another swing stopper this one's got a castle on it this woman's or girl's shoe here is pretty cool because it's almost intact it's got like old newspaper stuck to it Oh, the sole's missing, but I think that might be part of it, look. Oh, I'm very zoomed in. I wonder whose ancestor that was once belonging to. There's a button here, I think it might be a bone one. Oh no, it's broken. Oh, you know what? Now I think about it, I think I picked that up last time and it was broken. I've just fallen for it again. Ugh, throw it in there. It can't get me this time. This might be interesting. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's really crumbly. Look, it's like some sort of resin. And it just snaps, look. And it has a really smoky smell. It smells really smoky. I hope it's nothing poisonous. <laughs> That's so weird. What were we saying about pears? Mum found a football pipe. Guess who else has just found a football pipe? This will be our third ever 
only ever football pipe. And we found two today. This is a day of pears, I'm telling you. That's so random. I think I might have seen a seed bead over here as well. Um, but I've lost it. Oh no, that's a problem. Oh, there. Oh no, it's broken. But I saw another little blue thing down here. Oh, there we go. A little bead that isn't broken. And a football pipe. So weird. Hole this time. Down here is the remains of a hairbrush. There's one part of it. And here's the other part that would have had the bristles on it. And that's the back, look. Oh, it's wood and it's all crumbling, but that would have been attached to there. What a shame, it's so rotten. <laughs> hmm. Ouch. Is this a whole pipe? Oh my goodness, it's just got the very end missing. It's one of those royal antediluvian pipes. It's practically whole. Well, you don't find that very often on these rubbish dumps. So it's got buffalo horns on it. R-A-O-B. Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo. But my goodness, look how whole it is. And actually, I think it's been snapped because there's teeth marks in the end. Look. Bottom teeth, top teeth. So it was actually smoked in that condition, look. So you could actually say it's whole. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not sure if that is a berry or what. Berry? It's a berry. <sighs> really did look like a bead, that one. Come under some trees here. Look, there's like a hole under the trees. So I found this pla plant pot lid. Teapot lid, it's got a tiny little chip, but it's not too bad. I think I might take that one and look down here. What does that suspiciously look like to you? Oh, it's a cup. I was holding my breath there for a teapot, guys. Remember the pears thing? But no, it's a beautiful little cup to go with that little saucer that I found earlier. Yeah, I, I've had a few dull crockery pieces today for some reason. And a little bead as well under the trees. I wasn't going to come this way. Um, Mum's gone into a different part of the woods, so... I was just going to follow her, but I'm glad I came here now. The a few things. What else is down here as well? Might have to do some crawling under these branches. There's another pipe bowl here, and I recognise it. It's got a flag on one side and a man on the other. And I think it, it's called a Bob's Pipe. It was Robert somebody, but I can't quite remember. Some sort of general or something, but I've definitely found one and talked about one before. It usually has B-O-B-S on it. I don't know if this one has. Might have underneath the, the head there. So there's another cool find. Oh my goodness, look! A little doll's dish. And a lid. Oh, and look at that, it's pink. How cute. That's not a chip, that's where the spoon or something would have gone in, like it was a little mustard pot or something. And look at this, what a shame. That is such a sweet little pot. 
minus it handle. Here's another one with its spout and handle missing. And here's a vase. It's a bit busted up though. Well, the handle's missing, that's all really. It's a bit gaudy, to tell the truth. And a little pot here, like a cold, cold cream pot or something. So definitely keeping these two, might keep that. Have to think about the others. This is odd, because last time I was here, what did I find? One of these little lids, these little tin alloy lids. And I found another one. What's this? Oh, it's a swan's head, look. You find so many swan ornaments. Must have been really popular. And another pipe. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. I have not seen one like that. Wait, I'll zoom in. It's got a corn cob. Look, a corn cob. Wow. That is so cool. I've never seen a corn cob pipe. Well, I know you get pipes made out of corn cobs, but not one with like a carved corn cob. Wow, fantastic. Oh my goodness, oh, I love it. That's so elegant. Isn't it cool? It's really cool. I yeah. love that. We've never found one before. Here's another one with um, we found before. A hand, pipe. yes. I mean, yeah. it's got a hand on it. I was going to say it's got a pipe on it. That's really cool. Love this one. I know. Oh, that's, that's really I cool. I psyched finding that. Yeah, that's Unusual. wonderful. The other one. Oh yeah, you found a whole one, didn't you? On a scale of one to a very whole, how whole is it? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Oh, it's got the two oh the end, yes. So Look. Oh, it's an um, REOB as, yeah. one, oh, as well. It's not just a plain one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that. The marks on the end. Someone's had a gap in between the front, front teeth. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Pipe archaeology. Yeah. And pipe anthropology. Pipe anthropology. Glass stopper has still got a bit of its old seal, like lead seal around it. It was so healthy in those days. Hmm, nice bit of lead in your sauce. Okay, so Alex was sitting up there and she just spotted down here an amazing find. It's a spongeware jug and it's practically whole. If that had been whole, it would be worth a fortune, but <laughs> unfortunately it's not. But it's still beautiful and I think we'll take it. What do you think, Alex? Oh, it's, it's in its handle and it's got some cracks. It's got cracks. Mm. But I'm thinking they're not all the way down the cracks. Could we deliberately smash it up and then can Suki it back together? We could. Because it's so rare to find whole spongeware. We have actually found a whole spongeware bowl before. But that's cool. I like it. It's a mouthpiece of a pipe here. Maybe it was like a Sherlock Holmes type pipe. It's really light. I think it's cellulose. Over here, I think I can see the top of a glass stopper. Yeah, it is. And it's got gartens. Gartens. Nice glass stopper. I want to 
find a funky pipe. Oh my goodness, no, it's another football pipe. No way. Another one. That's our fourth <laughs> ever one we found. We found three today. This is crazy. We found, it's mad. We, we found three today and we've only ever found one in our whole mudlarking career. Oh, it's a, it's a day of or YouTube. Multi multiples. It is. It's a day of pairs and multiples. It's really strange. I want to find a wheat pipe then in that case. If you've found one. My last fight of the day, I think. And it's a little, like, cut glass jar. Wonder if it has some sort of, like, cosmetic in it. And maybe, like, a um, silver lid or something. It's cute. Look at that odd thing there. Let's see. Oh, it's like a buckle. I think it's glass, some sort of pressed glass, like decoration of something, I don't know. Kind of looks like a buckle, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Oh, might as well check that pipe bowl while we're here. Now it's plain. Found something else right here as well. This has to be my last find now, but it's this amazing little shred of pottery. And look, there's a little person there. And it's got, it's, he's got his hand up to this bird or it's just like attached to him maybe like a parrot or something maybe a person with a pet parrot but yeah that is really cute I really like that I love these little scenes on um, random sheds so that's two like, nice finds and I think that's it for today <laughs> <laughs>